What is going on guys, it's Constable Tank coming back at you with a, another Madden 17 video. Today we are going to be starting that San Francisco 49er league that I made a video about already. I read all your comments on trades and different stuff you wanted me to do. Uh, so we're going to be starting that today because the comments have kind of calmed down. I read all of them, went through them. So we are going to be doing that today. So we're going to start at quarterback. People commented on Dak Prescott, Carson Wentz, Jared Goff, you know, Marcus Mariota. But I got more comments and more likes to get Dak Prescott. So let's start off by getting him. Now, be confident this trade's going to go through that you see on the screen right now. Quinton Dial, a 4th and a 7th this year for Dak Prescott, who's an 80 overall. I believe this must be a newer roster update. I think I downloaded it a couple days ago. So, um... It's going to be a little bit harder to trade for him. As you can see, I'm getting up a pretty young defensive tackle, a fourth and a seventh before you usually could get him for like a fourth round or something like that. So let's um, submit this in, and the trade was accepted. So we get Dax Prescott, our quarterback for the future. Very good young player, 80 overall. Now the plan is to trade away um, my other quarterbacks and Blaine Gabert and Colin Kaepernick. We're going to be trading Kaepernick right now. Um, probably for Corey Coleman. He's a rookie receiver from Cleveland. I think this trade's probably going to go through. So let's go for their first round pick next year as well. Uh, projected first overall. Yeah, so and we were dumping 11.6 million in cap cap space, which is important. Also, two third round picks is going to go to Cleveland. So let's go with this trade was accepted. So we're getting a young receiver with quick development to add to our team. Now it's time to get rid of uh, Blaine Gabbert. Looks like the Denver Broncos are interested. So uh, I think one or two people commented to get uh, Bradley Roby. So I'm going to go for him and possibly a draft pick. Um, so let's go for maybe something next year. Sixth round pick. Uh, so Gabbert and for Roby. So let's try that. Trade was accepted. So I think that's got actually a pretty good deal for us. We get a 79 overall cornerback for a 72 quarterback so very good deal i ended up making a new league because the other one i started in the regular season instead of the preseason so i just made a new one so we could start in the preseason so i didn't know terrence knighton and will hill were in here so i'm actually going to sign them and probably uh, use them as trade bait so let's pick up these two players after picking up terrence knighton i'm going to include him in a trade with navarro bowman and a second round pick this year so that's a lot i'm giving up in exchange i'm uh, trading away alan smith my guy Salvador said he's a big Niners fan. He said, please, please bring back Alden Smith. He's a savage from 2011 to 2014. So we're bringing him back. You know, he's got a lot of off the field issues, but when it comes to on the field, he's a very good player. So I picked him up in a deal with Oakland. Also, Jihad Ward, someone else um, in the comment section said pick him up and I got three likes. So we're going to do that. I've, I've heard that he's just a beast in this game. And I think Bangle had him in a, a league and he had like over 20 sacks. So this is the first time I'm getting uh, Jihad Ward and also um, picking up their second round pick next year. So it's actually a pretty decent trade for us. I sent the trade through. It was accepted. All systems go on to the next one. With this trade, a lot of guys commented to get rid of uh, Joe Staley and, you know, other older players on the team like Torrey Smith and stuff. So we're going to be sending Staley and a sixth rounder this year. To the Pittsburgh Steelers for Ryan Shazier, middle linebacker. He's got 90 speed, which is unreal at that position. That's really what I look for. I love uh, speedy linebackers. Trade was accepted, so we're getting Shazier, 23-year-old middle linebacker. In this trade, I'm going to be trading away Tremaine Brock. He's 28 years old. Some guys said to get rid of him, so that's I, what I'm going to be doing. I would have done that anyways because, you know, he's getting up there in age. He's 81. He's not really going to get any better. So I'm also throwing in a 6th and a 7th rounder this year. In exchange, uh, Dayon Buchanan, you know, a lot of guys trade for him. He's a 79 mid linebacker, but I'm sure like 99% of people uh, move him to strong safety and he turns to like a 90 or 91 or something. So the trade was accepted. We get Dayon Buchanan, a, you know, well, he's a middle linebacker, but we'll be changing him to strong safety on this team. In this trade, I'm trading Torrey Smith uh, this year's fifth and next year's seventh for Shaq Lawson. He's a rookie outside linebacker at a Clemson. He was requested by Midnight Blade Gaming, so thanks for the request. So let's see if this trade went through. Uh, just with Torrey Smith, it was kind of close. And adding these draft picks, uh, the trade was accepted, so we get a very young outside linebacker. 
With that, I'm going to be trading Carlos Hyde, running back. He's 81, 25 overall, but normal development. You know, a lot of guys, I think two or three guys said trade him away. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Also throwing a fifth this year in exchange for Hunter Henry. He's a rookie tight end. I think he played at Arkansas. I'm not too sure um, who requested him. Uh, Butter Bacabro. I'm sorry if I ruined your name there, but he said... Get Brandel, Roby, which I got. Get Hunter Henry and Dak Prescott. So I got all three of your players that you requested. Um, so let's see if this trade will go through. I'm pretty confident it will. Trade was accepted, so we get a good young tight end to work with. For this trade, I'm trading Jeremy Curley, wide receiver. No one really told me to get rid of him. I'm just not a big fan of Jeremy Curley whatsoever. So I traded him. Next year's sixth rounder and a 64 overall cornerback. In exchange, I get the Denver Broncos first round pick next year. So I think this is a pretty good deal. Trade, I traded for Mark Barron. Uh, he's a right outside linebacker, uh, University of Alabama. Another one of those linebackers that, um, you know, you're not sure if you should call him a linebacker or a safety. Um, so I traded Ahmad Brooks. Ahmad Brooks' uh, cap hit is like $4.2 million. The only bad thing with Mark Barron, his cap hit is uh, $6.99 million, so basically $7 million. But I'll be moving him to probably free safety. That request was from Brandon Davis. So pretty good trade, I think. Since I got Hunter Henry now, I'm going to try to get rid of Vance McDonald. I wasn't aware that he has slow development, which kind of sucks. So let's try to trade him away. Um, I'm looking probably for draft picks. So uh, I'll probably throw in a cornerback too. Let's throw in Will Redman. And then let's see who's interested. I think the Buccaneers want a tight end. So I'm looking for first round picks. So let's uh, go for first next year. That's usually the easiest way to go. Trade was accepted, so Vance McDonald and uh, I think Will Redman, a cornerback for the Buccaneers, first round pick next year. I think that's a pretty good deal. With trade, I did not expect this to go through. Uh, this Andrew Tiller guy, the Colts had like the the yellow bar on him, so they were pretty interested, but not not a full green bar. But still, I got their first round pick next year. I think that's a pretty good deal. With this trade, um, the Colts wanted my middle linebacker, Gerald Hodges Jr. They're interested in him. So let's try to get their first rounder this year. I threw in my running back and Chris Davis, a cornerback. So let's see if this trade goes through. Trade was accepted, so I got their uh, two first round picks. So it's pretty good for us. Let's put some of my middle linebackers on the manual trade, see who is interested. Nick Bloor and Michael Willhoit, two 70 overall middle linebackers. You wouldn't think anyone's interested in those players. Except Miami, they they uh, want them pretty badly. So I'm going to go after their first rounder this series. So let's go and trade was accepted. So another pretty good deal for us. I'm going to try to make a deal with the Saints. Uh, Ray Ray Armstrong, um, the Saints are very interested in him. He's only 70 overall, I'm not sure why. And Dante Johnson, uh, I think he was a first round pick actually not too long ago. I'm probably wrong on that, but... <laughs> I'm going to be trading him away, and next year's second round pick, I'm going to go for the Saints first round pick this year. It's projected fourth overall, as you can see there. It should be a pretty high one. The Saints usually don't too, uh, do too good, so let's go with this. Trade was accepted. We're, we're getting some good draft picks here. With this trade, I'm just looking to get some help at wide receiver, which we desperately need. So Steve Smith Sr., I heard these older guys like him and Fitzgerald are easier to get, so I commented to get him. Um, kind of just like a fill-in player for one year because I'm sure he probably retires because he's 37. So I changed Eli Harold from outside linebacker to right end. Also threw in next year's fifth and Bethea, my strong safety. And I'm pretty sure the trade would go through. Trade was accepted, so we would get some help with wide receiver. With this trade, I traded right end Gerard Eddy. Uh, my first rounder this year, projected 25th, but I think I'll do maybe a bit better than that. Hopefully we win a Super Bowl actually in year one. That will be pretty sweet. And a second rounder next year is going to Jacksonville. A couple guys requested Miles Jack at linebacker and also Telvin Smith. So I picked up those, these two linebackers from Jacksonville. Very young players and they're very athletic too. So um, good additions to add to the team. So I picked up Will Hill in for NC hoping to trade him. But he's got like a torn Achilles and he's out for 48 weeks. So I just IR'd him. So I kind of stuck with him now because I can't even cut him. I also picked up Quan Williams. In frenzy as well probably gonna trade him right now for one of uh probably for one more player on this list that you guys gave me Sonny garcia commented to trade uh, joe staley tremaine brock and ian williams to pittsburgh for antonio brown but i used two two of those players in uh separate trades um but i sailed ian williams i traded him away 
including a first-rounder this year. And Quan Williams, who I picked up from free agency, I just told you guys, for Antonio Brown, 99 overall wide receiver. Very big player to add to my team. Oh, I'm going to be going into free agency. The only free agency request I got is to pick up Dre Archer. You know, I'm sure everyone knows about his speed, and I want to add, a, add that to my team. As of right now, he'll probably be my starter because I, I love speed in this game. Uh, you know, speed kills. So 96 speed, 94 acceleration, one-year deal, $600,000 uh, is uh, what the deal is. All right, guys, I think that's going to be all the trades I'm going to do this year. I wanted to keep, you know, a fair amount of drop picks. I think I only have two firsts this year, but next year I think I got like six or seven. So we'll be drafting a lot next year. But this year we still get two high first-round picks, hopefully. So now I'm going to be simming to the regular season, and then we'll pick it up there. All right, guys, we reached the regular season. I want to review my team with you guys, and I still want to be getting input from you guys. I'm not going to be playing a game this week. I still want to be getting some input uh, from you guys in the comment section on some certain stuff that we could get squared away before I start playing. So I'm going to go over it in the roster. It's more in-depth than just the depth chart look. So quarterback, we, uh, you know, you guys wanted Dak Prescott. You know, I agreed with you. You know, I think he's going to be the, the best bet for us at quarterback. Uh, backups are just going to be Christian Ponder and Thad Lewis. You know, hopefully Prescott doesn't get hurt. Running back, not too good. Mike Davis, Kevin Taylor, or Kelvin Taylor, and Dre Archer. Probably going to be starting Archer over these guys. This, I just like the speed way too much. If you guys think I should get another running back, you know, leave a comment for sure. Fullback, I don't have one. I'll probably just pick one up from free agency. Wide receiving cores actually turned out really good. Antonio Brown, Steve Smith, and Corey Coleman in the slot. I think that'll be pretty successful. So we'll have Quentin Patton, Rod Streeter, and Eric Rogers backing them up. Uh, tight end position, we have Hunter Henry, uh, Garrett Selleck, Jerome Ham, and Blake Bell. Probably I'll just cut Ham right now. I dislike uh, Blake Bell a little bit better. Got a little bit better uh, run blocking. And then O-line, nobody commented on for me to pick up an O-lineman, and O-line's a big issue on this team. So maybe leave a comment on maybe an O-lineman you want me to pick up. I know, like, the usual ones like Mewhort and Conklin uh, are usually pretty easy to get. So uh, leave a comment on maybe if you want me to pick up one. So I don't have a left tackle. Um, Zane Beatles at left guard. Um, same with Cooper. Center is Daniel Kilgore. Right guard is Joshua Garnett, the rookie out of Stanford. And then my right tackle is Trent Brown, a uh, player out of Florida. So not looking too good at, at uh, the O-line spot. Defensive side of the ball is where I need most of your help, guys. I'm not sure if I should run a 4-3 or a 3-4. I believe I have the players to be successful in both kind of schemes. So this is what the team looks like in this 4-3 scheme as we have it right now. Aaron Lynch, left end. Also have Shaq Lawson backing him up. So some good depth there. At the right-hand spot, Alden Smith. He's a, he'll be a good player. DeForest Buckner and Jihad Ward. I don't think are really speed rushers, though. So I'd probably move uh, both of them to defensive tackle. But also, I have Tank Carandine. He's a left outside linebacker on the team. I moved him to defensive tackle, and he's he's a 78 overall. So, you know, comment if I should trade him or you know, like what, what I should do. I moved uh, Eric Armstead to defensive tackle too. So, um, you know, if I run a 4-3, who should I play a defensive tackle? You know, Buckner or Jihad Ward or Buckner and Armstead? Or just leave a comment uh, in the comment section. And if I play a 3-4... You know, I would probably have Shazir and Miles Jack in the middle and really wouldn't probably have a need for Talvin Smith. I am probably can move him to safety, but I'm not too sure. And also, like, I have Mark Barron and Eric Reed. Should I get rid of Eric Reed? I'm not too sure because I have Dayon Buchanan and, you know, Will Hill's I yard, unfortunately. But I also have this um, this Tart guy who's actually pretty decent, too. He's a... Or Sam He's out of Samford, one-year pro. So should I should I trade Eric Reed? What should I do with my D-line in terms of uh, personnel and schemes and stuff? And any other position, O-line, running back, any other position you think I should pick up before we get this underway playing game one? Leave a comment below. I just want to uh, just square everything out, make sure I got the team the way you guys want to see before we get this underway. So leave your comments below, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that thing, and we could get this league underway as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next video.